the basic bones of a chicken that have a nicely browned. And what I have here is I have a enamel cast iron, uh-oh, too much smoke, and I have a little over a summer, a low boil, uh, that is, uh, for this recipe I'm using a quart of coconut milk because I'm giving it a little south of the water flavor, but I've also got a quart of uh, chicken stock, the kind uh, in the box, which I do prefer. Now, after putting those in and letting that boil for a little, the next step, of course, is to turn the heat way down and then saute up some of the aromatics, which in this case, carrots, onion, sweet onion, of course, and uh, some garlic. And all we're doing here is just giving it a chance to brown a little bit, giving everything a chance to caramelize. And now, at this stage is basically just making the basis of the soup or stew or whatever you want to call it for today. And so this is just like an extra step that you may not even want to take. You don't have to. You got that stuff boiling and everything is in there. There's bones. There's meat. Uh, then it's probably okay. But if you want to add the extra flavor, making sure everything is caramelized is giving you just another layer. Now, um, I have some stuff that I'm not drowning that I would consider to be a little past its prime or not suitable for browning, and it's just going to boil in the stock. And what I have here is uh, onion that decided to freeze itself. There is ginger, actual ginger root, because... Uh, this particular version of a chicken soup is going to be good for whatever ails you. So there's going to be garlic, there's going to be ginger, and those things are like a curative. Hey, you might ask a simple question. You have this cast iron, enameled cast iron. Why didn't you brown in that first? I'm going to tell you. Glad you asked. In this, as in everything else, you get what you pay for. I was uh, minding my own business, and I was in a store, and here was this beautiful and remarkable enamel cast iron Dutch oven, not La Cousette or somebody I ever heard of. And come to find out that the inexpensive Chinese knockoff does not sear worth a doggone. And so, because I think searing is important, because I do want to make sure that that caramelization is happening, I'm pulling out what I know will work, but I, it's not big enough. This is kind of a small Dutch oven, and I'm going to make a little more than what this one can hold. So I, you know, have taken the extra step of that. So the only thing that's going to happen now at this point is this is simmering. Little, little above a simmer. I'm going to put that veg in that I was browning, and I'm sticking this in the oven. It's not going to just simmer away, because I don't like things on the cooktop simmering away unattended. 
But the oven does a very good job. It's temperature control. You set the temperature. In this case, it's going to be 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, and all that's going to happen now is... You notice I'm using something slotted because I don't want all of the fat that uh, I rendered off to end up in here unless absolutely necessary. But I did pour off some because later uh, when we're building the layers to make this dish, I'll be browning the uh, raw chicken and another layer of onions and carrots and so on. And so, we'll leave it here for now and uh, I'll come back when we've got some.